Hello, my dear students in grade seven. Our lesson today in order to differentiate between concentrated and diluted solution. So, the concentration of a solution depend on the quantity of solute dissolved in a different volume of solvent. The solution is more concentrated when the dissolved quantity of solute is greater. So if we dissolve more solute, the solution will be concentrated. Why? If we dissolve less amount of solute, the, the solution will be diluted. Let's see in this case. For example, here we put only one tea colored bag. Here we put two tea colored bags. Here the solution is less intense. Here more intense. So in this case, diluted solution because the amount of solute is smaller. Here we have amount of solute bigger. So we have concentrated solution. So depend on the amount of solute added, we differentiate between diluted solution and concentrated solution. In order to dilute a concentrated solution, in this case, this is a concentrated solution. If we want to dilute it, we must add more amount of solvent. Let's add more solvent, which is water is the more solvent. So we add more amount of solvent to make it less concentrated. So add more amount of solvent or we can remove a part of solute. Let's remove one tea colored bag. In this case, the solution diluted. So, if we want to concentrate the diluted solution, this solution is diluted. We want to concentrate it. We must add more amount of solute. Let's put another tea bag, colored tea bag, in order to concentrate the solution. Or we can evaporate a part of solvent. We can put it on Bunsen burner in order to evaporate part of solution. If we evaporate part of solvent, so we can make it more concentrated. So let's solve application one in order to understand the concentrated and diluted solution. We have four beakers. First beaker A1, we put only one tea bag. In second beaker A2, we put two tea bags. In B1, we put two gram of copper sulfate. In B2, we put 15 gram of copper sulfate. So, complete the following table. In solution, tea, solute and solvent. Solute is the back of T, so is T. Solvent is water. Copper sulfate plus water. Water, solvent. And copper sulfate is the solute. So, compare the quantity of solute in beaker A1 and A2. In order to compare, here we put more tea bags. So, in beaker A2, the quantity of solute added is greater than in beaker A1. Compare the quantity of solute in B1 and B2. Also here, the quantity of solute, which is 15 gram of copper sulfate, is greater than in B1. Indicate which beaker, A1 or A2, and B1 or B2 has the most intense color. The most intense color depend on the amount of solute. Here, more intense in color. And also here, B2, more intense in color because the quantity of solute added is greater. Explain if the intensity of the color of the solution depend on the quantity of solute added. 
Yes, of course, depend because if we add more solute, the color will be more intense. Identify the most concentrated solution A1 or A2. The most concentrated that have greater quantity of solute added. So A2, which add two tea bags. Identify the most diluted solution B1 or B2. Most diluted solution that have less amount of solute added, which is two gram of copper sulfate. So B1. Explain how we can concentrate the dilute solution. How can we concentrate the solution which is dilute? We can add more amount of solute. We can add more tea bags. Or we can evaporate part of solvent by putting in Bunsen burner. So these two steps allow us to concentrate diluted solution.